Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you how I am tracing an image off my computer. I don't have a printer to print off my reference photo. So I'm gonna trace it using my Surface Pro. This is the one I have. I'm gonna show you exactly um, how I do it, the process, and um, let's just get started. So it's kind of old. Um, I have some tape here, some painter tape, regular number two pencil, some paper. It's not even tracing paper. It's just like some regular paper. And then um, I have my mouse and stuff because I need to disable the computer so that um, I can do the tracing. And actually, I've already done that, but I'll show you guys how to disable it in another video. So to disable um, the touchscreen on your computer, what you need to do is, what I did is just Google it, disable touchscreen on Surface Pro, and this came up and it worked really well. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the search bar and you're going to... Um, Type in device manager and it should populate. So that's what you're going to click on. So I'm going to open that up. Oh, it looks like it already popped up. So right here, you're going to go and scroll down. Let me just get off this. You're gonna scroll down and also make sure before um, you got your, you know, your keyboard plugged in, your mouse and stuff plugged in before you disable it. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go down to, where is it at, human interface, right here. Click on that. You're gonna go down to touch screen, right click, disable device, it's gonna ask if you want to, you're gonna say yes. Now look, now while it's doing it, Okay, so that's basically it. So then after I disable it, and the reason I'm doing that is because I need to trace this image. I already have my image up, okay? I check it to make sure that the brightness is turned um, all the way up, which it is, but I'll just show you where you do that. So my tablet mode's off. My rotation is uh, lock is on because I don't want it rotating on me. Um, I'm not sure that it will, but... What is that? Okay, so I want it as bright as it can possibly be. So I already got it. You know, I want it bright. So anyway, um, then after that, I'm going to go ahead and tape up my paper. So let me do that. So now I'm just going to tape a piece of paper. And I'm just going to tape it on my screen. Like so. And I was sure to um, sharpen my pencil because I wanted it really sharp. But I don't want my paper moving around. Mine's tend to move around a lot. So I'm just going to tape it up as best I can to get it as flat as it can possibly be. I've done a few sketches on this already. Um, I'll probably show those. I've already done a few sketches of those. So now that's taped. Now, after that, I'm going to turn off the light, close the door, and you can see that very clearly. So now I will go ahead and sketch, okay? And I'm recording myself doing this because I feel like I can do it a lot quicker if I have some people to talk to. You know how that is. Like, if I turn the camera off, I'll be like, ah, let me go sit down. So I'm just tracing it. Basically, I'm just trying to get all as much detail as I possibly can. I'm scared of the dark, so I don't want to be in here too long. And I'm just following along the line. My strokes are kind of like strokey. They're kind of like back and forth. That's just how I do it. So basically, I'm just going around the outer edges first so I don't forget. Because it's kind of hard to see exactly um, like the detail. And I don't have my glasses on. I suppose if you had like a thinner paper, it would work. You know, of course, the thinner the better. But I'm just using the resources that I have. And this is working pretty good, but we'll see. And I actually got this idea from a guy that posted um, 
something recently and shout out to him. I'll put him, his link in the bio just if you want to check out his page. It was like a Buddhist monk or something. It was really cool. Thank you for giving me this idea. I'm just playing on it. But it's, it's really helpful when you're like, you don't have a reference photo readily available and you really need one. So, I don't know what took me so long to find this out. But here we are and I'm sharing it with you. Okay, so I'm just doing the outline of this guy right here. Um, I think I almost got a... I think I did this already, but we're going to do it again. Just to be sure. Okay, so I'm going to cut the light on real quick just to see how much I've done. Let me just... Okay, so as you can see, I've got a pretty good impression. But I'm going to keep going. And so, um, yeah. Like I said, you need this in handy because when you disable the touch screen and you don't have this, it can be a pain, I'm pretty sure. So now I'm going to go back through and do the finer details, like where his hand um, is, kind of get the fingers as best as I can. Um, most of this stuff, you know, when you're painting, you'll have to kind of eyeball it yourself, you know. But... Um, it helps to do as many drawings as you possibly can. That way, at least you know, huh, that doesn't look right or that doesn't feel right. So I'm just trying to trace as much, as much detail as I can and I'll eliminate later what I need, what I don't need. But I just want to make sure I got a good, like a good base drawing. because this is going to be enlarged so when you do it enlarged you don't have um you won't have such a large image to work on you'll be playing off your eyes um if you have a projector that'll work too and i always find like the faces are just the hardest for me and I think, why not just use, you know, trace it, use a projector to make it a little bit easier. That way you can focus on the color and the texture. Because you can draw all you want, you know, have amazing drawing. But if those colors aren't there, it kind of sets it back. It's not bad. It just, for me, you know, it just makes it look like, ugh. So right now I'm just going in with like shading techniques around the eyes and and things because I just want to see what all I'm working with and then I'll know okay you need to eliminate that you don't need that that's that's not the effect you're going for that sort of thing and it like I said it just comes with time you know you just kind of do your own thing and I'm not going to go through all of these um, exact lines just yet, but I do want to know where the placement of his name and thing, his jersey, I want to know where all that stuff is. So I'm just focusing on the really darker elements, like the shadows basically. thing that looks like a shadow kind of just going in and I've done this on the computer a few times but not so much detail because I could hardly see and then the image you know if you can have a really good high-res image I see now why people you know you want a really good image so that when you go in and get those details it's not <clears throat> pixelated and some of you guys probably know what that is, but you can work around that with the eye, you know, depends on how much detail. But if you're going for a lot of detail, then you're going to need a really good image because you need to see what those are. But if you're just going for um, action detail or like a lot of movement, you may not need so much detail. It might take away from the actual 
um, thing. So let me just see where I'm at right now. So it's looking pretty good. I need to get the shirt sleeve over here in his hands. So let me focus on that. I'm going to take it bit by bit because I don't want to forget. So I'm going to do the hand. It's going to go around the hand. Get the hand. And then um, what I need to get, I got the arm. Got the arm. Oh, good. The sleeve. I didn't get the sleeve. I think I got that already. So I think this is a good working start. My focus is on the main soccer player, but I do want to have sort of an outline of the other two guys in the image. They will be blurred out. I have a nice cool technique I want to try out for that. But as long as I get the outline, some of the colors, just kind of like a rough idea of where these people are, I think um, it should be fine because the main person in the photo is in the center side of you. So I'm going to have a little crisp here of the other guy. Okay, so everything else in the back, that can wait. But let me just see how the first drawing turned out. Oy. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few more um, takes on this. Just keep drawing and practicing as best I can. Um, my main focus is Sadio and then um, just really getting his face his uniform and his knees and the hand up here really. So I gotta really get this hand right and this one. So I'm gonna keep practicing on it. And then after this, I'll do some other um, drawings and shadings and just keep practicing on it, practicing on it and practicing on it until I feel more comfortable to go ahead and put it on a canvas. So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye.